me, Pam Vaney, and I'm going to continue on my part two of this um, Ikea Cubby um, organization that somebody had requested I show. So I did the, the this top one, and then I'm working on this one, and I did uh, the, some of these canvas ones. And I did put the link to these little canvas uh, narrow bins in the description and in part one. Okay, so I'm going to take out um, the four remaining uh, little canvases. Okay, I got the four bins here. And uh, like I said, the, the description for these canvas bin, bins are, uh, uh, I got them on Amazon and they're in the part one description box of this uh, craft room cubby tour. So in this one, I have, you know, like little flash cards, uh, bingo cards, guest checks, and um, a few... What are these called? Um, time time cards. I think there's different type of time cards. I don't have a whole lot anymore, but um, that's what I have in that one. And then this one has a uh, little tiny um, tally cards. Actually, I do have a tag. I have vintage cards tea and farmhouse cards in the back but up front I just have various little note pads tally cards note oh, note pads this is a score sheet pad um, mainly note cards and then I have the vintage uh, cards. I love, I love, you know, vintage cards. Look at that. They're pretty. So that's what I have here. And some longer narrow. These aren't vintage, but so pretty. So beautiful. Then the this one has nature, flowers, butterfly, and birds. These are cards. These butterflies. So these are, will all be cards like that. Nature, bird, flower, butterflies. Anything. So It'll be easier for me. I need a greeting card to put in a journal to look there. This one, I have people, animals, scenes, retro, etc. So these look like little tally cards. Aren't they cute? And then other cards. So on. And so forth. Yeah, it's much easier to have them organized. These are pretty like vintage ones. I love this one too. Okay, we'll move on to the next row. Okay, now we are moving down to this third row that has the drawers, three bins in the middle and more drawers. So we're gonna start with this one. And I got this uh, cubby cabinet from my daughter, wasn't using it anymore. And then I bought all these canvas bins that are Ikea. My husband, then you can order the doors. He put those on, so I got 
you know, ordered two of those and then I ordered these drawers. So, and here, these are my playing cards. Let's see, is there a good way to... I can't pull this out anymore, but um, I'll just pull out... I can get three of these in here, these little... I think they were a dollar, uh, dollar tree bins maybe at one time. I'm not real sure, but um, they're a little plastic bin. And I put different types of playing cards in here. Like such. And three fit perfectly in here. And you can just lift them out if you want. So, yes, yeah, so all my playing cards fit in here. Like so. So that's awesome. Love that. And then the one below has game cards. These are big playing cards that don't fit. And I have more playing cards in here. And then I have game, game cards, Monopoly, Trivia. So game cards here and then the rest of my playing cards are in there so I really like that system and that these two drawers and I'm going to skip over past these three bins we'll look at that but I want to go to this end to the other drawers and in here I have all my what do you call these I never can remember project life cards and I had them at one time. I, yeah, I put them kind of in their color order. Crazy, right? Some of them. Um, yeah, so all my smaller um, Project Life cards, and they're in these same plastic type. Um, little plastic bins. I believe I got them at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And then on here, I did, yes, I have more Project Life cards. So you can just rifle through them. And um, see what you have. So I love that system. Okay, and then these bins, there's three bins here. And like I said, I wanted to do a different tag, but I don't know what. So I'm going to pull out these and we'll look through what I have in here. Okay, I've got these two bins out. and I didn't pull out the other one. I guess I didn't really have to pull these out. But um, these are different laces, shade laces. I tried to put them in bags like this type of lace or this was lace that was on a spool and then I put like eyelets together um, coffee dyed cheesecloth kind of a crochet or acrylate type or off-white so I'm trying to keep them where, you know, they're kind of together, pretty sparkly drums. Satin, I have all my satins together. And yeah, I have a lot, there's more eyelet. And then this one is kind of the same, you know, eyelet. And C 
seam tape. Kind of an ecro lace. And then things on rolls. So those are those two bins. And it's so easy because if you're going to pick something, you know, if you, when you're done with the project, you can just throw it in the bin. And there's not, you know, a whole lot of sorting. And then when it gets messy, then I'll take the time to put them back into the bags. Moving on to this crochet one. And I have a little crochet piece here. And here's all different crochet things. I kind of hoard it just because I love them, but I, I do use them too. But So this is my crochet bin. And then next we can move down to these and I don't think these I don't know if these are real if I sorted these a lot but how I have it on the bottom is this bottom one has fabrics and I have like a brown strip of fabric black and gray and then corresponding this one is the trims in that same color and then just like this one has looks like yellow and orange and then the trims in that color and then blue and purple with the trims blue and purple pinks fabrics corresponding trims and then red and green and then the red and green trim so we'll go over to this one which is would be brown black and gray i believe so we got Browns like <clears throat> burlap and I did sort these out. That's right. Yeah, we got browns, some brown lace, and our blacks, and there, and then down below it, we have brown fabrics, black fabrics so you can see how that would be organized easily and then if I have a leftover orange from a project that I want to put away or yellow I just can open up this throw it in I did organize it um, into bags I think these were like satins and um, you know but if you want to just pick up and throw it in, then later, you know, when you want to take the time, you can put them in their particular bins. And I was putting some of my Rick Rack in with my, I usually just use that for little golden books. So I have bins, I'm going to back up, that are up here. I have like uh, sweets, cookbook, farm, I have golden book, I have... What's that? Nature Beach Fruit and Sewing and then Shabby Chic. So if I have something, I can just throw it in there. I also have uh, the plastic bins in my closet, but I'm not, you know, of things like that and paper, but I'm not doing that today. So, okay, so then here we have yellows and oranges, and I haven't sorted or folded my fabrics. Um... You know, because sometimes you just rifle through them. Okay, I did that one. And then down here, we have purple and blue. So we have, you know, purple, blues, fabrics. And we have our purple and blue trim. all nicely organized next is pinks a lot of pink so that lace should be in up above but um this this should be in the trim here these are pinks fabrics and i do have a bin of more fabrics and i do have a closet dresser 
full, like over here. This isn't a finished closet, but um, I do have a dresser in there with fabrics too. In that little place. Okay, so here's the pink. So then here's their pink. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Trims. Okay, and then the next we have red and green fabrics. Oh, there's blue in there too. Okay, I could change. Now, what is this? Looks like I have to sort this out a little bit. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> the red and green. Trims. <clears throat> so that's that one. So let's go back. I still have to put those cam big canvas bins in there. <clears throat> so I think that's about it. Um, <clears throat> I guess I could show what's up in here too. Okay, so this one <clears throat> has got like sweet sewing cookbook. Uh, this one was a little golden book and this was sewing and one really didn't have anything in it. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to reuse that one for something, but this farm, this is kind of like farm. That's not paper, you know, so, you know, you got your burlap. This was kind of specific for a, um, you know, it could be Western too. It was like an apron made out of a jean skirt with a bandana. I thought I could take that apart for a farmhouse or Western type journal. And a lot of good left in there. Oh, some feet sack fabrics. Awesome. I wonder where those were. Just little fabrics that would be good. A little wood pig or chipboard pig. And I guess I put some. Oh, look at this cute little pumpkin. Squirrel. That could be fall. I think that needs to go in fall. And then this little farm one. I think I'm going to put that back with my stamps. So, yeah, I haven't looked through this in a while, but I have my pumpkin. And that could be fall too. I might have to redo these. But. You know, the idea being specific fabrics for certain journal that I make. This one is Golden Book, and I thought, uh, usually I just put pom-poms for the majority in uh, little Golden Books and Rick Rack. So I just threw a bunch of these things in here, and I thought this was bright and colorful for a little golden. And, you know, the brighter Rick Rack, and then the brighter pom-poms that I'll be a little golden so this needs to definitely be sorted out it's all a jumbled mess so and then this is sewing uh, which has like your vintage buttons those are cool I might have to go through those one day just sewing buttons and what are these oh like a bordered words more buttons so yeah this stuff i'm going to have to start through different notions yeah probably zippers and things so i'll go through that but it does help we're going to make a certain journal I need to look at this. Oh, that's a needle inserter. I'll put that with my sewing things. So, yeah, that's basically what's. I've got sewing parts in here. Why is that in here? Okay, let's check that out. So, basically, and then I have a shabby chic, which I'm not going to take down. I'll show you. This one, you can kind of see it has like bits of embroidery pieces and, you know, shabby chic.
Okay, so that's just a generalized uh, view, of, and I need to go through these top canvas bins, and um, yeah, um, I did have a request to show that, and I hope they watch it, because uh, yeah, it takes a lot of time to do this. Sometimes it seems like people ask for things, and then they never comment, so I hope it was worthwhile anyway to somebody, and then um, I'll just do a, a generalized a view to uh, my craft room and you know I can do more of an updated one at some point when I'm able to and have the time so yeah I got a new arm phone arm I like it I think I've used it once so far it's uh it's a called elite hood overhead phone and camera mount so so far I like it I just got my little uh, cart here and mainly with inks and things in it. This is where my scraps are next to me. So I don't have a, like a big space right there. And then I have a, <clears throat> a little extra table set up for somebody wants to craft with me. And I do have to kind of move <clears throat> those out when somebody crafts here. And then more of my Ikea. Um, I have some... Uh, I don't have this totally organized, but I have some of it organized, so I could show at some point. And then my sewing machine is usually right there. I have it upstairs, because sometimes I feel like working upstairs. Here's just a little bit. So I just have that much to work, space to work in. There's a journal I'm going to try to work on today, but I've been doing other, you know, this craft room uh, video and different things so I haven't worked in it in a while I need to yeah and my stamps and dies and then I have things in there um and then I have a little station here I think that's kind of the same that it's been a little bit and then I moved uh something that was right here over here so it gave me a little bit more room here so it's my little board a little bit of inspiration here I colored these how cute Leo has a flight attendant friends there and that is basically an uh, overall view and a tour of my Ikea cubbies. I'm not sure what they're called exactly. So I hope you enjoyed the process and um, later I will continue to do a few little more little craft room tours. See you next time.